Alright, so as I would hope most of you guys know, uh, Global 7th Anniversary Celebration officially begins tonight. And as such, we got a data download, of course, to give us all the assets that we need for at least the beginning of the celebration. Obviously, as we go along, there's going to be more data downloads and a lot more stuff. But we got everything that we need right now. So in today's video, we're going to check all of it out together. Now, before we jump in, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys are not already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with this absolutely incredible 7th anniversary promo movie, which uh, quite honestly brought a tear to my eye the first time I saw it. So if you guys have not watched this yet, then you are definitely in for a treat. So here we go. Enjoy. Okay, yo, I can't be the only one that just got chills, man. I, why they gotta make it so emotional in the beginning? Like when I when when I hear the music and then I see like the 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 logos and then like Vegeta like crying and everything. Yo, it it gets me, man. It really gets me. So that's incredible. I love it. Now let's move on to some of the other assets. Let me just put the music back on here. There we go. Okay, so from there we have the assets for the upcoming. Tech Teen Gohan and Kid Goten, and also their Dokken Awakening, right? So it starts off as just this Gohan right here, and then we get this cute little Gohan and Goten, along with a couple of medals here. Now, this is the unit that eventually becomes the LR uh, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, but that's not until uh, part two of the celebration, and then in part three, I believe, is when they get their Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, these are some of the stages for that event, stage 1, 2, and 3. The official name is Legacies of Remarkable Fathers. Okay, and then from there we have the AGL Chi-Chi, which eventually becomes Goku in Chi-Chi. And that's from the All Fired Up Marriage Showdown and Grand Finale event. And there are three stages for that currently, obviously more stages coming later as we uh, you know, progress through the anniversary. And then we have this Fizz Vegeta, which eventually becomes Vegeta and Bulma. And uh, these are the related stages at the moment. And uh, th these maps actually look really cool. I never noticed, especially this like city kind of thing. It's, it's pretty dope. Okay, so anyways, uh, this one's called A Fateful Encounter, Bulma and Vegeta. And then we have the Goku and Vegeta orbs event. So, you know, as the name implies, you can get skill orbs for Goku's and Vegeta's on this stage. I believe it's once daily, as with uh, all the other orb stages. And then we have this new trade jewel, the 15th Red Dragonstone, which can be exchanged for a pool of units that are very similar to the previous ones we've seen. Um, I'll probably still make a video just to like help newer players decide like which units to get, but if you guys have seen some of the other videos, then it's going to be kind of the same deal, because I don't think the uh, character pool has really changed. So anyways, uh, free Red Dragonstone, free character, always a good thing. 
And then we have uh, some of the new stages or some of the initial stages for the ultimate red zone event. So for the GT bosses one, we have stages for uh, Legic and Lude. There you go. And then for the uh, movie bosses uh, event, we have the stages for Turles as well as Lord Slug. So there, uh, there you go. We got two stages for each right now, obviously. Uh, there's going to be more added as well as we progress along the anniversary. But uh, these guys should still give you a pretty solid challenge. They're not as hard as like the Broly, for example. But uh, they shouldn't be easy. That's, that's what I'll say. They, they shouldn't be uh, a cakewalk for most people. Okay, so from there, we have some tickets for each version of the Ultimate Red Zone event. So this is... Of course, the GT edition, and then we have the movie uh, bosses edition as well. So one ticket for each of the uh, versions of the Red Zone event, and then some assets for the login screen. So uh, this is pretty cool, actually. And it, it's broken down into like the various like components of the loading screen, and uh, you guys can take a look if you want. We got like Shenron. We got. Uh, I don't know if they like refresh this um, Hercule. He looks the same as always. We got the logo there. Uh, might be good for some people if they need like need the assets for various purposes. I don't know, like for uh, thumbnails and stuff like that. Actually, I might send this to my thumbnail guy. We'll see. Okay, so that is the log. Uh, not loading the new login screen. And oh, some more stuff that I missed. I feel like maybe. There you go. Okay, cool. And then finally, we have some new scripted event assets, as in assets that are used for various different events, right? So we have a few Gokus right here. And then we have some more Gokus. <laughs> I actually really like this one. <laughs> this one's great. Um, oh, and then a Super Saiyan Goku, and then another Angry Base Goku. And we have a Derpy Goku right there. And then from there we have a couple of new Vegetas, uh, looking annoyed and angry as as always. And uh, finally we have this uh, new boss rush stage, stage 14, which he forgot to initially post, but he added it later on. So we forgive you, Proton. Thank you. And that is the first data download. Now I say first because we actually got an additional data download um, after an extra data download, if you will, and uh, basically this one updated some super attack names and super attack quotes, updated some battle assets, and updated some scripted event assets, so um, not really like a major uh, update, but if you guys just wanted to know everything, I'll make sure to cover it, so uh, just quickly going through it, let's see, we have some updated super attack names and super attack quotes, some more noticeable than others, here are a few examples, okay, so from what I can tell, um, it's really the outline I think might be a bit thicker and also the quotes like the quotation marks at least the the, the end quotations are you know bigger otherwise there's not that much of a difference I mean let me see if I can see anything with the is this Korean I think it's Korean I could be wrong if it's not this my bad I apologize um yeah, it's very not noticeable. I mean, to my eye right now, like it might be a bit thicker as far as the outline goes, but yeah, it's, it's really not that noticeable. Either way, they updated it. That's all you need to know. They <laughs> they made some kind of a some kind of a change. Okay, this is very noticeable. This is very noticeable because I mean, it's literally different text, so. I guess for this one, they changed the line completely. Um, so yeah, I, I noticed the difference here, that's for sure. I did notice the difference here. And also this one is different too, right? It says, mmm, you're out of energy, why fight on? Whereas this one says, hey, 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 your energy is close to, to, uh, close to depleted, go ahead and die. So that's, that's very different. Uh, we also have some updated battle assets slash effects. Okay, so... Uh, various changes to the like orbs, the key orbs, the effects for like 
the various orbs, I guess. Interesting. It's kind of cool to actually see these orbs like up close though, because you never really pay attention to them in the game, right? They're just kind of there, and then you just like don't even really think about it. But um, I never realized like you know the texture and like some of the the qualities in here. That's that's, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so. After that, we have some more updated battle assets. Uh, that's for the attack up. Uh, also, a bunch of numbers. So, as you can see, we have various numbers here. That could actually also be good for thumbnail purposes. So, I'm going to save these. And then, uh, a couple of Vegeta battle assets, or sprites, I guess. And then, uh, headers for, I think, the effects that show up. And then... Uh, updated Shenron assets. Now that is interesting. That is interesting. Yo, this could be turned into like a really cool mask. If anybody wants to like cosplay as Shenron, yo, that could be a really cool Shenron mask right there. If you want to like print it out or something or like 3D print it, that'd be sick. Okay, uh, got a Goku. We got a couple of Vegetas. Now I think these are the sprites, yeah? Or maybe, uh, no, not sprites. They're like the. They're like in the super tech animations. Um, got an explosion kind of thing here. Uh, got a couple of trunkses, I believe, for the Dokkan attacks. Right, I think these are Dokkan attack related. Maybe. And then, uh, let's see, scripted event asset balloons. The most noticeably different. Okay, so what is this? Warriors evolve the growing menace, the battle of continuous fight over dimensional distortion is entering a new stage. Interesting. News from the admin team. Huh, okay. Then we have various text balloons, of course, for the in-game text, right? Like the, the, the talking in the story events. Um, and that's it, I guess. Okay, so these were updated as well. Interesting. I'm not sure what was different or like what kind of changes they made but i guess they made them better i would assume <laughs> since they updated it right so uh that is the extra data download guys and uh like i said you know nothing major nothing like life changing but you know always nice to see they're paying attention to these minor details and last but not least last but not least before we go i want to shoot you guys to a quick preview of the animations in English this time, because last time for the pass or pull video, I had to use the JP ones, right? Now, if you guys, um, you know, don't want to be spoiled, I guess, and you want to wait for like in game or like after you pull them or whatever, then feel free to leave the video. If not, though, if you want to like get a little preview or, or the full preview of these animations, then definitely stick around. So I'm gonna pause my music once again, and let's start with the. Uh, Super Saiyan 4s first, and they would just move in order to, you know, the the blue boys and also the side units as well. So here we go, starting with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Sorry for the wait, Kakarot. Ready when you are, Vegeta. <laughs> Oh, there's more, my bad. News, Kakarot. You're the last person I expected to suggest fusing. This is going to be special. I can feel it. Fusion! Ah! I'm neither Goku nor Vegeta. I am the one who will destroy you! Okay, so those are the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta animations. Obviously, the next ones we'll see are for the... <coughs> Sorry, guys. 
uh, are for the uh, fused Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So here we go. Enjoy. It's so good. It, it, it's so good. <laughs> okay. Um, now, let's check out the, uh, I guess, God Boys first and then the Blue Boys. Um, these animations are also very clean. And I was having a hard time deciding like which one I like more. But I think I got to give the edge to the Super Saiyan Force. I think I do. Just because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, that's that's... The only reason that matters. Okay, so blue boys, enjoy. Or red red boys first, god boys, and then blue boys. So they go blue, and then we move into the Blue Boys animations right here with a, uh, well, not, not really surprise anymore, but I was going to say surprise fusion because I actually wasn't expecting Blue Gogeta to appear in these animations, but then, but then he does. So it was, a, uh, it was a surprise to me initially when they came out on JP. So enjoy.
Amazing. Incredible. Okay, so uh, last but not least, we gotta watch the. Oh, my God. Pause that. Yo, is the music really loud? Because, like. I don't know, it just seems really loud. Okay, last but not least, we have the animations for the two side units. We have the Broly and the Sinchenron. So, here we go. Yeah, I mean, for for side units, these these guys actually look um very quality. Like these animations, they're shorter, obviously, and uh, it's not as much uh, detail or effects, I guess. But like for for what they are, once again, man, I think they did a great job with these two. So, uh, there you have it. That is gonna be today's video, guys. I actually went over a lot, or went a lot longer than I was expecting, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, hope you guys are ready for the seventh anniversary. I mean, regardless of whether you're ready or not, it's um, it's starting. You know, like it, it's gonna start whether you're you're prepared for it or not. So uh, you you better be ready. And uh, like I said before, guys, there will be a lot of content on the channel covering the seventh anniversary. I plan to cover basically everything. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, as far as the banners go, as far as the summons go, we have about two days uh, before those drop. So just be patient. They're coming. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, get excited. And as always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.